To help you understand layouts, let's run through three examples. The default is a good layout for documentation pages. Typically, these pages provide navigation to the left or right of the main content. In this layout, we've placed page and content elements. We've added the page tree macro in the left column. And lastly, all page elements are visible. You can see this layout in action on our help site. The clean layout, formerly called the landing page, is a starting point for highly designed pages. With this in mind, we've hidden all page elements and the layer you see here is not visible on the actual page. We assume you'll add each element as needed. Because designers often want a wide layout for a landing page, we've set the width of each layer's content container to 1100 pixels, and we've set the width of the column to 100%. Typically, we use this layout for the home page of a public space or site. Here's our theme press page as an example. The last layout is one that features the latest news or blog post. In this layout, we've added the recently updated macro to the right column. A second layer exists below and shows the page turner macro. Similar to the documentation layout, all page elements except for likes and labels are visible. To see for yourself, here's a page using this layout. 